hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install and run mac os big saw on your virtual box for those that don't know virtual box virtual box is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see i am running poppy linux os raspberry pi os you can run many other operating systems virtually on your host computer so today we are going to install mac os big saw now i made a video earlier on this but a lot of people were still not able to install so i will take this a little bit slower and it should cover everything you need to know so the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox head to your browser and then let's search for virtualbox now you can see the first page over here oracle vm virtualbox now click on it and here we are so by the left click on downloads over here and it will take you to the download page so this is virtualbox for windows operating system this is for mac os and different other operating systems so download virtualbox for windows host once you click on this button it should start downloading i already have this installed so i'm just going to cancel now after downloading it you just have to install like every other software we also need the extension pack as you can see over here oracle vm virtualbox extension pack now i already have this downloaded so i don't need to download again so you have to download this now the next thing we have to download is mac os big saw iso file so open a new tab and then head to this page now i'll provide the link in the video description so you can just click on the link in the video description and it will take you directly to this page Now you can see this is Mac OS Big Saw 11.0.1. So once you click on download, it should start downloading. Now I advise you use an internet download manager since the size is 16 gig. You need a stable internet connection to be able to download this. So if your network is not that stable, then you can use an internet download manager so you can pause and resume your download whenever you want. Now after downloading your Mac OS Big Saw and installing VirtualBox, you can then close this tab. Now the next thing we have to do is add the extension pack and to do that click on files up here and then under tools click on extension pack manager. Now click on install up here and then select the package which is Oracle VM VirtualBox extension we downloaded. Click on open and then click on install. Scroll down and then accept the terms agree. And you can see Oracle VM VirtualBox extension has been installed successfully. Now we can click on this tab over here and then go back to the welcome page. Now let's open our download folder. And you can see this is a Mac OS Big Saw 11.0.1 I already downloaded before now. Now the next thing we have to do is create a new virtual machine in our VirtualBox. So let's open our VirtualBox and then click on new up here. Now let's call this machine Mac OS. And then make sure you set the type to Mac OS X. Set the version to Mac OS X 64 bit. So once you do this, it is going to fill up some of the fields we are supposed to fill. Now go to hardware and then set the base memory, which is the RAM you want to allocate to your virtual machine. Now you shouldn't give more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine, else it will slow down your host computer and you won't be able to use the virtual machine as well. So I'm going to give it 6 gig since I have 16 gig of RAM on my PC. And then for the processor, I'm going to give it 3 core processor. Now you shouldn't give more than 40% of your processor as well. So I have 8 CPU, so I'm going to give it 3. Now make sure this field enable EFI is ticked. And then go to hard disk. And then set the amount of storage you want to give to your machine. Now you should give at least 70 gig to your virtual machine. Since the installation would take up almost 30 gig or thereabout. So I'm just going to give it 84 gig and then click on finish. So we've successfully created a new virtual machine, but there are still things we need to set up. Now click on settings up here and then go to display by the left. So increase the video memory to 128 megabytes and then enable 3D acceleration down here. Now if you go to system, you can see the base memory, which is the RAM. You can change it whenever you want. The processor as well. You can change processor core as well. Now make sure this field enable PAE slash NX is selected and then go to your USB and then switch it to USB 3.0 XACI controller and then click on storage by the left. So you can see under controller SATA over here, you can see an empty disk over here. 
click on this disk icon by the right and then click on choose a disk file now select your mac os iso file you downloaded so you can see this is mac os big saw which is 16 gig we downloaded earlier and then click on open now click on ok so you can see we've successfully added the iso file but before we boot our mac os we have to do something else now open command prompt on your computer so you can just search for cmd cmd right click run as administrator now we have to type in some commands to let mac os know this is a mac os machine not a windows machine else the installation won't work now to get the commands for this installation simply head to our discord server with the link in the description of this video and then just copy the commands from the discord server copy paste it in your notepad and then you can run the installation with these commands all you have to do is replace the vm name with your computer name and then follow the prompt just as i am doing so now we have to paste each command line by line so you can see the first command cd then your drive name which is by default c and then you can see program files and all that but for me my drive is not c my drive is s so i'm going to change that to s so if you open your command prompt just like this you can see over here you can see this is your drive name mine is s but by default your drive should be c so you don't have to switch this from c to s now before we start pasting the command we have to replace this vm name here with our virtual machine name so let's go to our virtual box and copy our virtual machine name so go to settings and then go to general you can see the virtual machine name over here so just copy the name there copy so we are going to replace this name vm name with our virtual machine name so just highlight vm name over here and then hold ctrl h now click on this replace and then paste in your virtual machine name there and click on replace so you should be able to replace everything so you can see everything has been replaced now we can begin pasting each and every one of these commands so let's paste the first line copy ctrl v to paste and then hit enter and you can see it has now moved to this directory of the virtual box now let's copy the second command ctrl v and then hit enter now let's close our notepad close cmd head back to our virtual box and then we can start our machine by clicking on start now select your language and then proceed so the first thing we have to do is to erase the disks before we begin the installation so click on disk utility and then continue and then click on vbox hard disk media over here now click on erase up here so we can format these disks and then give a name to your disk let's call this mac os click on erase the disk has been successfully erased so click on done now we can close this page by clicking on this x button by the left now go to install mac os big saw and then hit continue now it may take some time before this page shows up mine took about three minutes but you just have to wait now once you get to this page hit on continue and then agree to the terms agree select the disks we erased earlier you can see mac os continue and it should begin the installation now this may take a lot of time i mean like a lot of time it may be up to an hour but you just have to let it run it may restart along this process
guys this installation took a lot of time i mean a whole lot of time now if you encountered any issue while running the installation then make sure you watch to the end of this video i'll give you some tips on how to fix some errors you may encounter while installing this is a little bit slow but after the installation we can adjust the cpu and ram settings and that should be faster select your country and continue select your language keyboard format and continue the accessibility if there's anything you want to set you can continue but i'm not really interested in any of this so i'll just click on not now let's continue so you can migrate from another mac or another windows pc to your machine but i'm just going to go with not now since i'm not interested in that you can sign in with your apple id which i'm not interested in as well so i'll just click on setup later so we're going to skip this now agree to the terms and condition And then this is where you put in your name and your password which you're going to use to access your machine. Now let's continue. 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 So let's click on setup later since we don't want to set this right now now enable siri if you want so i will just enable it and continue select the language for siri continue now you can see over here improve siri and dictation so i'll just go with not now continue now choose the mode you want your os to run with i think i will set it to auto so it can automatically switch between light mode and dark mode so let's set it to auto continue and you can see everything works so basically this is how to install mac os big Sur on your virtual box now we have to remove the installation media so power off your machine so let's close it power off ok now we can go to settings storage and then remove the installation media over here since we've successfully installed it remove ok let's start our machine again So basically, this is how to install Mac OS Big Sur on your virtual box. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Now, if you encounter issues while installing, you can actually adjust the CPU and RAM. You can reduce the CPU processors or also increase it as well. You can also increase the RAM if it feels like it is not enough. So you just have to toggle around the settings if you are unable to install. The next thing you have to do if you are unable to install is restart your machine. Now in some cases that is all you need. You just have to restart your machine and run the installation from scratch and everything will work without any issue. Also ensure you have enough space on the disks you are about to install Mac OS because you can't just allocate 70 gig to Mac OS when you have just 43 gig available on your drive. So if you allocate like 70 gig to Mac OS and you have less than that, by the time it uses up that storage, you will encounter issues with your Mac OS. It may hang the installation and you won't be able to install. So you can delete some things off the drive. 50 gig should be okay for the installation. And lastly, the commands. So when you're entering the commands in your command prompt, if you don't enter it exactly as you should, this won't work. For example, the name of my machine is Mac OS, but if I change it to capital M A C O S and then I try to run this code hit enter you can see error could not find the registered machine with the name Mac OS 
Now this will happen if the name you specify here is not correct. So you just have to cross check the name you used on your virtual machine. So make sure you open your virtual box, go to the settings page and then over here in the general tab you can see the name of your machine which is Mac OS or whatever name you used. So if you don't use that exact name while you are entering the commands and then replacing these names over here, you will get these errors when you are running the commands. So basically, if you do this correctly, adjust the RAM and the CPU and then restart your PC, you should be able to install without any issues. However, if you are unable to install after following everything here, then head back to the description of this video and then join our Discord server and send a message and we will be glad to help you. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.